Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royal tea. So, uh, little bit Diana, she is the first senior royal born in the US. Boy, that brings up a lot of questions. Um, there is another royal who was born in the USA prior to this. Her name, she is the daughter of Lord and Lady Frederick Windsor. She was born in Los Angeles. Oh, have you heard of that place? That's basically where Harry and Meghan live. Her name is Maud. She was born August 15th, 2013. So beat her by eight years. Maud, her, the little girl's name is Maud and her mother is Sophie Winkleman. And she's famous for her role in Two and a Half Men. Little Lilibet is not the first. The second thing I want to point out is LilibetDiana.com. The domain name was bought on the same day Harry, Harry and Meghan Markle's baby was born. That says a couple of things to me. One, it says, you know, either they're being very clever. I, I think she bought the name Archie long before Archie appeared on the scene. Okay, the fact that they bought it the same day indicates to me that this might be, that, that maybe she didn't even tell Harry. She sprung the name Lilibet on Harry. Uh, another thing I want to cover is there's uh, this lady, Joanna Toch, was uh, canceled. There's uh, two tweets. This lady, Julie Burchill, at Booze and Fags, wrote, what a missed opportunity. They could have called it Georgina Floydina. And this lady, Joanna Toch, she replied to her, no, Doria, don't black names matter. And she was canceled. She got fired. And Joanna Toch has even, she has mixed black babies, uh, apparently. Anybody can be canceled. So they're coming for you eventually. Just letting you know. Now, the last thing I want to mention before I start reading is Piers Morgan said uh, that he declines to comment on the birth of Harry and Meghan Markle's new baby. By saying that, he's actually commenting. Do you see what he did there? You know, I still love Piers, but I mean, if, if Meghan pulled that, I would criticize. I would say something, but I guess it's okay. He's... You know, he's commenting by not commenting. So the first thing I want to cover is, does the birth of Lilibet in the USA guarantee Meghan Markle custody of at least one child in case of di divorce? Can you say, cha-ching? Okay, because she, now there's one child born in England, and Archie belongs more to the crown, currently the queen, soon it will be Charles, then it will be William. Archie belongs more, the crown has greater rights over Archie than either Harry or Meghan, but this baby is born in the USA. Okay, Lilibet Diana is born in the USA. So I'm not a lawyer. I think even a lawyer would stutter over this at this point. It needs to be studied. So does the birth of Lilibet in the USA guarantee Meghan uh, custody? How how's does this how strong does this make Megan's position? Son. Mm, Trinity. Oh, must I, oh, we have a yes. We have a high tower. Mm. Baby. Court fighting it out. All right. So positive spreads are generally positive. Negative, negative spreads are generally negative. So if you're looking for a negative result, look for negative cards. If you're looking for a positive result, look for positive cards. Okay, does, does the birth of Lilibet Diana in the USA uh, make it almost a guarantee that Megan will get custody of one child, which means that child has to be supported in the divorce. That's gonna give Megan, that's called child support. Megan is gonna get more money. Uh, plus there's all the sympathy angles. Uh, so now she's a single mother with only a hundred staff who she's constantly mistreating and throwing tea at, you know, she, oh, poor Megan. Okay. Let, what do we have? Uh, we've got a, 
couple of aces here, two aces, new. We've got the yes card, we've got the high tower. This looking very legal to me, which is the question I'm asking. Sun, sun is a yes card, yes is a yes card. Trinity, mustard seed. Everything working, this is five, two hearts, close emotional relationship. She got, got the baby. Uh, so sun is success successfully working everything together for this new start uh, and the close relationship. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say this, yes, this really, really, really super duper strengthens Megan's position as a custodial parent for particularly the child born in the U.S. Uh, high tower is the court rises to the highest place. Jack of Hearts, generally a baby, innocent, uh, cup overflowing, uh, selfishly manipulating emotions over the baby, fighting it out in court. Selfishly, six spades, very selfish, only for one person's benefit. The Incubus Succubus is a, 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 a fallen angel that lies on top of a human and has sex with that person, whether male or female. And depending on that human's preference, they'll pretend to be either male or female. And they'll, through sex, the act of sex, they literally suck the spiritual life out of that person. I actually have met a lot of people who've had that experience. I have had that experience. Uh, they're very insidious, which is why there's an Incubus Succubus card in this deck, because I personally have had that experience as when I was young. Uh, so this says by playing on the emotions and really fighting it out in court, she can get Lilibet Diana. She can get full custody of Lilibet Diana. 24, 33, 43, 43. So Jack of Clubs, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Clubs. Yeah, she can, she can keep, I'm going to say, yeah, this really makes her position. It's not, it's not absolutely guaranteed. They have to fight it out. They're going to play all the emotional cards. She's a mother. She has to keep her child. The child belongs with the mother, blah, 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 all that stuff. Okay. Uh, it's not a guarantee, but she has a very strong case you know, reading cards and not, not reading the law to keep this child Lilibet in, a, in the divorce. And I believe that divorce is inevitable. Okay, so did Megan even tell Harry that she was naming the child Lilibet? Or did she force it on him? Because I just showed you they, uh, they got the domain name on the day of birth, okay? On the day of birth, you're supposed to be sipping, you know, juice out of a sippy cup, relaxing and saying, oh man, that was harder than I thought it would be. Uh, you know, you need to be, congr you know, the men need to be smoking cigars and everybody's, and this happened to me, they pass out cigars and I'm like, I don't smoke. You know, and they're like, you do today, you know, you smoke cigars on the day of a child's birth. Uh, you, you have shots of alcohol, smoke cigars if you're a man, if you're a woman. You know, it's just a very joyous time. Instead, Harry and Meghan are creating, are getting uh, the domain name lilibetdiana.com. Okay, so all of that says to me that this was last minute, very last minute. So did Meghan totally just spring it on Harry and like, I'm naming the child Lilibet? And Harry didn't even know because I, I, this seems like something Megan would do. Megan, did she just spring it on Harry? Devil. Ooh, nothing's faster than the straight razor. Because my narc, she would literally fight over anything. We had a fight over spaghetti. I made spaghetti. <clears throat> I, I make a really wonderful spaghetti. I stole the recipe from my friend who stole the recipe from someone else who stole it from someone else. And, you know, fun story. I was talking to my friend in California and he's like, I'm making my famous spaghetti. And he didn't give me credit. I mean, it's cool, dude. Just 
give up the credit that you stole it from me because I stole it from another guy. And I always let people know that I stole the recipe from an, another guy. Anyway, so I was making my famous spaghetti, which is really delicious. Uh, if you're over sometime, I'll make it because it's amazing. Uh, but she got, I, you know, she would fight to the death over anything, even spaghetti. And she ended up throwing the spaghetti all over the kitchen and pulling a big giant knife on me. And oh my gosh, this is what narcs are like. They're crazy. They're crazy. And I think, you know, what Megan wants, Megan gets. What Megan wants, Megan gets. She fights to the death over everything. Okay, she's very petty. This naming the daughter Lilibet seems very, very petty and like a jab at, and we did read on this. We had the devil right in the middle of that spread. It's just very malicious. Okay, that's the kind of person we're dealing with. So here we have the devil right in the middle. So did Megan just spring it on Harry? He didn't even know. Let's see. Straight razor is very sudden. Devil is very malicious and <clears throat> angry and will murder and steal. And then we have all the people. Seven and 11, 18, five diamonds. She'd been thinking about this for quite some time. This is saying to me that she forced Harry. She set a trap for him. The devil is very much a trap. And this devil card is very much a trap. You go into the trap. The beautiful naked ladies and such, they lure you into the trap. And then once you're in the trap, it's really hard to get out. And the tarot card, it's, it's, the, it's the Baphomet, half female, half male, uh, holding chains around the necks of, of the human victims. It's a trap. You get entrapped. So trapped in front of all the people, she... They just had the baby, and oh, you're going to fight now? So she, I think she really sprung it on him. What do we have over with Harry? Finger of God reaches down and changes from outside. The mother, 1922, in front of all the people. I think she waited until the baby was there because it's born of a surrogate, and then there's all these people around, as many people as possible, and then she forced it on him very Machiavellian, really forced it on him, and then he couldn't fight about it. And then once you fill out that paper, oh, what's the baby's name? Lilibet Diana. Now it's too late. Now it's too late, bro. It's too late. And all the, she had all the, she planned it very, very well, and she set a trap for him. Two diamonds, uh, eight diamonds, This is an everything card connected to everything. And that's 10, three diamonds. She used everything. She waited for the perfect moment and she set, she sprang the trap on him. So this says he had no idea. Uh, but now we're going to ask, okay, just to clarify, because I want to know who done it. Okay. Was it Harry? Was Harry like, Duh, yeah, that's a great idea. Going to really piss off my grandma. You know, or he's like, oh, man, I just can't stop her from doing anything. I mean, she's just, wow, I'm just really just hanging on by my fingernails trying to make this marriage work. And, oh, she makes it so hard. And she's always smiling to my face and stabbing me in the back and she's always working behind behind the scenes. And everybody, I feel, just ganged up on. And uh, she's always telling everybody how crazy I am. And then I made all those stupid admissions to Oprah and now it's on tape. Oh man. You know, I mean, so what are Harry's feelings about naming the child Lilibet? Is he like, hell yeah, man, let's get some, you know, let's, let's fight with granny. She just lost Philip. She's going through a really hard time. This is where you kick her when she's down, you know, or is he like, there's just nothing I could do, man. There's just nothing I can do. You know, pass me a Dos Equis. There's just nothing I can do. So how, what are Harry's feelings about naming the child Lilibet? It's all good on the surface. Ooh, ah, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, wow. What interesting cards. So on the surface, it's all sweet. It's all roses. The future's all roses. They are absolutely united. The, the communication is they're united. 16, 19, five clubs. 
this, they're absolutely united on this decision. This is, this is beautiful. We love our little daughter, Lilibet. And, you know, we're honoring the queen. We're honoring uh, Diana, my mother. I think he's on board with the Diana name. It's the Lilibet name. Uh, and, and now they're even, they came out with a uh, article that's saying that the name Lilibet Diana is honoring Doria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So what do we have underneath? We have no. Oh, oh, heck no. This is a disaster. You are, you're killing me, man. Uh, and this is a change from what we agreed to. You went outside of what we talked about. And no, he is absolutely opposed to this. He realizes Harry's not a dummy. He, he, and people like to think he's a dummy, but I, I, people, I always give people credit, uh, no matter who they are, that they are intelligent. People are intelligent in different ways. And I think Harry is very socially intelligent. Okay. He's not like lawyer intelligent, but I think he is very socially intelligent, even though he's, you know, been trapped by a narcissist. He, he is absolutely underneath. This is a disaster. This is the worst possible thing that can happen, and it's, it's got the Magi on it. It's a very powerful, she's manifesting this. Wow. He's very unhappy about this. And this is eight spades karmic shift. This is a big change. She went outside what they talked about. So they talked about naming the child, obviously, uh, even though with, with my narc, it was very hard to talk to her about anything because everything had to be her way. And she would literally fight to the death even over uh, spaghetti. She would fight to the death over spaghetti. Uh, so, and she did. Uh, so they were discussing the name. Okay, and of course, Diana's going to be in there, but she snuck in the little bit. I think she didn't tell him anything. This is a big change from what they talked about. Oh, heck no, please no. Okay, so let's add it up. 20... 23, 32, 40. Ah, 10 spades. 9 spades, 10 spades, 10 spades twice. Harry is absolutely devastated by this. This is terrible. He hates that the baby is named Lilibet. Lilibet, he realizes what a bad thing this is. And he's going to get blamed for it. Of course he is. Okay, because on the surface, they have to tell, they have to stay united. Okay, so we're not going to see it. Finally, a lot of people are asking this. Will the palace do a DNA test of Archie and Lilibet? Because both of them are born of a surrogate. I, I did a reading. Lilibet does not have any, you know, Megan's egg. Megan's not involved in Lilibet. And, and I believe she's going to be dark. That would mean to me that Archie is probably not from Megan either. Okay, so if you do a DNA test, you're going to find that they are related only to Harry and the surrogate. That wants to pop out. So will the palace do a DNA test? Because that's a sure way to get them out of the line of succession. Because little little bit is eight in line, Archie is seven in line, and Harry is six in line. Now, there are reasons why they might want to keep them in the line of succession, even though they know these children may not be legitimate. But will they do a DNA test? Will a palace do a DNA test to prove this and embarrass the Sussexes? Two Spades says no. That's like a no card. Not going to do it. Broken. Uh, best for everybody. The close, keeping the close relationship is best for everybody. Five, two hearts again. No, they don't want to embarrass them. This is something that they can keep, you know, if it gets bad enough and they really want to kick out Harry and Meghan, then they can use this. But at this time, no. Underneath, we have family. We have rooted family. 1923, six club, another family card. Family, 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 three times. And Water Into Wine. Water Into Wine is a great line card. Transformation. 
Yeah, they're, they're embracing uh, both of these children into the family. There's no plans to make a DNA test. This is a no. No plans. And we have lots of beautiful union cards and family cards. So they are absolutely accepting both Archie and Lilibet into the family, the royal family. Okay, so I see Megan just springing the whole Lilibet thing on Harry. Harry is absolutely devastated by this, and this is not what they talked about. Let's review the spread. Kind of really, okay, that gives you insight into what is really going on in that relationship. Megan is just like riding a monster truck over Harry, and Harry is just like screaming, going, why are you riding a monster truck over me again? I mean, you're just killing me. You're killing me, Megan. What are you doing? So does the birth of Lilibet in the USA guarantee, pretty much guarantee, Megan custody of one child? Yeah, pretty much. She's going to have to fight for it. So the royals are pretty clever. Okay, there's definitely a fight at, at the divorce. There's definitely a fight, but this is very strong. This, this is all very strong. Yeah, heck yeah. She's created a really good case for keeping one of the two children. And, of course, she'll argue for full custody of Archie as well, which I don't think she'll get. Uh, but that's the emotional argument, taking the child away from her mother Okay, well, what about the father? You're going to raise the kid in the palace. You're, Harry's, going to, Harry's going to be there, and, and he'll be the primary. What's wrong with that? Oh, it's not the mother. Okay, so there's going to be this big argument. They have a great, they're set, she's setting up the really great argument, very emotional and really getting ready to fight it out to keep definitely both, full custody for both children on another continent. So did Megan spring it on Harry, like at the last minute? Yes, absolutely. She's a devil. She'll do anything. She's a devil. And she really worked everything together at the, li the right moment when all the people were there so that they couldn't fight about it. And she signed the paper and it's too late. It's too late. Sorry, Harry. Your whole life. <sighs> just flushed down the toilet. So was Harry on board? He's like, I love this name, Lilibet. I'm so into this. On the surface, yes. Underneath, this is, man, how can this get any darker? I don't see how this can, underneath, he's just like swallowing glass, chewing nails, drinking Drano, you know, I, I mean, it's horrible, and chasing it with vodka. I mean, it's, he is, this is terrible. This is terrible, terrible, terrible. He doesn't like that Megan named the child Lilibet. I'm sure he likes that she named him, named her Diana. Will the palace do a DNA test to prove that they're both not of, you know, not in the line of succession? They're not Megan's children. They are Harry's children. That's what my cards are saying, but they're not Megan's children. No, they won't do this. They will not do the DNA test. Not at this time. I think everything is always on the table for them, but at this time, they have absolutely no plans to do that. But, I mean, that's a silver bullet right there. If you really want to push uh, Meghan and Harry out, that is, you know, simply proving that their children are not uh, in the line of succession. That's kind of a big deal. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share. If you like the video, get the word out and comment. Love to read your.